Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we're gonna to be reviewing a Type C external disc attached storage enclosure. That was a, quite a mouthful. However, we're gonna do a quick unboxing and we're gonna do something a little radical with this today. We're gonna to connect it to an Xbox One and see if the Xbox One can see 16 terabytes in RAID 5. This is gonna be amazing. Let's do a quick unboxing of this baby. I'm looking extremely forward to it. We don't have to hack this one. This is natively a five bay. Okay, this is the box with all the doodads in it. Let's just take this bad boy out and get this box out of the way. There we go, five bays. We have, it comes with a USB type C connect uh, cable, which I thought is nice. Short, doesn't look that all that long, maybe three feet. Screwdriver, hardware, hard drive screws, tiny screws, I guess, if you wanted to use solid state drives in this. There are three holes for the, uh, for the solid state drive, and then the traditional holes for the mechanical three and a half inch drive. And what we're throwing in on this, just so you know, I have five four terabyte drives. So that would equal to 20 terabyte of storage. However, in a RAID 5 configuration, it will be 16 terabyte. Now, I bought this to do a test on the Xbox One. However, that's not the main purpose of it, but we're gonna do two birds in one stone. This is connecting to one of my servers as external storage. But I wanna see if it works with an Xbox One. Let's go check it out. Okay, this is a TerraMaster D5300 in RAID 5. There are five four terabyte drives, one, two, three, four, five. And this is configured in RAID 5. And we're connecting it to an Xbox One. And we're gonna see if this can see it. Ah. Oh yeah, buddy! <laughs> That's amazing! It sees it. It is a go. This is amazing. You must have the device off, power it back on again, and now the TerraMaster D5300 is a solution for your Xbox One to store games on. This is RAID 5, so it's a hot swappable RAID array, and you guarantee to get well, it's 14 and a half terabytes. Technically, it's 16 terabytes. That's the maximum we could see. Oh, this is amazing. Woohoo! All right, now we're gonna show you how to configure this. I will have a link in the description below. This is a relatively simple process. It says it only could do RAID 5. That is not the case. Look at all the RAID options we have here. So, real simple. If you're trying to do this for the Xbox One, just do RAID 5, hit apply say yes and it'll configure it and that is it and then once it's done you're done that's it you unplug it you plug it into your xbox and you're ready to go that's simple this definitely gets to joe tech tips instant awesome writing here we go we're done if you're curious on your throughput we're going to check that out now oh this is impressive it's about the same throughout the entire drive now that is freaking impressive there is no performance curve Holy crap, that's unbelievable. Now that is what I'm talking about, folks. That's amazing. 